Hello friends, hi, how are you today? My name is Laura and welcome to Storytime. Today I have a story about a teddy bear named Corduroy. What do you notice about Corduroy's overalls? How many buttons does Corduroy have? Looks like they have one button here, but the other button fell off. Oh no! So to, in our story today, Corduroy goes on a search to find its missing button and also finds a new friend. And I want to introduce you to my friend, Bear. Can everyone say hi, Bear? Hi, everyone. <laughs> I have a question. How many buttons does Bear have? Can we count them together? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Bear has five buttons. Five little buttons buttoned on a bear, sewn on with thread without a care. Until one little button fell off in the store, one less button meant there were four. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four little buttons buttoned on a bear, sewn on with thread without a care, until one little button suddenly sprung free. One less button meant there were three. One, two, three. Three little buttons buttoned on a bear, sewn on with thread without a care, until one little button fell off out of the blue. One less button meant there were two. One, two. Two little buttons buttoned on a bear, sewn on with thread without a care, until one little button became loose and undone. One less button meant there was one, only one, one. One lonely button buttoned on a bear, sewn tight with thread without a care. The button hung on so tight it would not let go because without that button, the bear's belly button would show. <laughs> All right, my friends, good job. All right, are you now ready for our story today? Okay, let's sing our opening song. Sing along with me if you know the words. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Check your hands, check your feet. Check your hands, check your feet. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. All right, my friends. Today's book is called Corduroy by Dan Freeman. Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. All right, see, there's Corduroy. And all the different friends sitting on the shelf. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, said her mother, sighed. I spent too much already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Hmm. Corduroy watched them very sadly as they walked away. Oh, look at Corduroy looks so sad. And so does little, the little girl. Hmm. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down from his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. The department store is really big. He's got a lot of area to search, huh? Suddenly, he felt the floor moving underneath him. Quite by accident, he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Have you ever been on an escalator before? They're like stairs that go up to the next floor. 
Could this be a mountain, he wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. That's funny. Corduroy's never seen a mountain before. He doesn't know what it looks like. Interesting. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor and there before his eyes was the most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. Look at all the stuff in this room. So many things, so many beds. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto the large, thick mattress. Where does Corduroy sleep? How come he doesn't sleep in a bed? That's right, he's always been on the shelf in the toy, toy department, huh? All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up, but just like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, off came the button and off the mattress, Corduroy toppled, bang, into the floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Uh-oh, he's making a lot of noise. Corduroy didn't know, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going on his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator. Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. Do you think he thinks it's a teddy bear? I don't think so. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Well, hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? Hmm. Do you think the night watchman thinks the bear walked up the escalator? I don't think so. The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when the first customers came into the store in the morning and there looking at him with a wide warm smile was the same little girl he had seen the day before. Oh, she looks much happier, huh? <laughs> I'm Lisa, she said, and you're gonna be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, as she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up the flight of stairs into her family's apartment and straight into her own room. She's so excited, look it. She looks so happy. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers and a long sized, a girl sized bed stood a little bed, just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you just the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulder strap fastened tight. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa. She gave him a big hug. <laughs> the end. All right, my friends, give yourselves a big round of applause for being such good listeners. All right, so our next activity, we're actually gonna need you to stand up and you're gonna do some of the motions along with bear, okay? Are you ready? All right, here we go. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around. All right, can you turn around with bear? Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the ground. Touch the ground. 
Teddy bear, teddy bear, reach up high. Everybody reach up high. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch the sky. Woo! Teddy bear, teddy bear, bend down low. Teddy bear, teddy bear, touch your toes. Teddy bear, teddy bear, go to bed. Teddy bear, teddy bear, rest your head. Oh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, turn out the light. Oh. Teddy bear, teddy bear, say good night. Good night. <laughs> All right, my friends. I want to thank you so much for joining us today for story time. I hope you had a lot of fun. I know we did. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to say a goodbye song, so sing along with us if you know the words. Our hands say thank you with a clap, clap, clap. Our feet say thank you with a tap, tap, tap. Clap, clap, clap. Tap, tap, tap. We roll our hands and we roll them really fast because when we stop, we have to say goodbye. All right, my friends, we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye. Thank you for watching our virtual Purple Museums broadcast. If you're enjoying this content, please consider making a donation to support our efforts. Our broadcasts are every Tuesday on Facebook and YouTube. Visit us online and in person. The inside of the museum and Bill's backyard are open every Wednesday through Sunday. Stay in the loop by joining our email list. Visit www.cdm.org for more information.